Hello YouTube, to kick off the new year of 2012, I would like to show you how to make a wizard 101 spell. Any spell hit 1 million, which is the cap of in wizard 101. Now, many of you are saying that, well, on my other videos, like videos that say that it's over 1 million, many people think that it's a fake because they th they thought it was just recently posted or something along the lines of that. But it wasn't. Now, I'm posting this so that everyone can actually make one just like mine to hit 1 million, which is the cap today. Now, I don't know. The cap might have changed when I post this video. I don't know. Sometimes that happens. But this is all I gotta say. Uh, there is many steps and I will walk you through them now we will start off the the enemy you are going to be attacking alright if you're going to be doing a large hit you have to aim for a boss that gives you a boost now for balance this is tough because there is no boost uh, I forgot to say that this will not apply to a balance wizard this will probably only get you around uh, around 200k which is that is 200,000 but for other wizards storm life myth death fire and ice this will apply to you and you will be able to get 1 million on your attack now what you see right here here is a Kraken. Now this boss is found in Triton Avenue. Now, if you go on Wizard 101 Wiki, which I'll bring that up right now. Alright, as you see, uh, I am on Wizard 101 Central, and right here you see the Wiki button. Now you will see the main page, and up here you will see your search. So, you want to find a boss that has a lot of boost. Uh, if you're a level, if you um, are looking for a good boss, you gotta find a good percentage on it. Now, back in the day, I had a Medusa hit that hit 1.5 million. Now, that was because of the boss boost on it. And, uh, hang on, let me see if I could uh, find the boss. Uh, this is all. We'll, we'll, we'll just uh, type in the Kraken. Kraken. And we'll see uh, the boost line. Uh, pet Kraken, creature Kraken. There we go. See right here? Uh, same image as right there. Uh, see right here it says resist to storm, so. And boost to myth. So if. So we will get into this a bit later, as conversions. But you want to have a good boss boost. Actually, we'll get into conversions right now. You want to have a good boss boost. And when you set down a trap and you're going to be casting a storm spell, and if you're going to use conversion uh, storm to myth, then this is what I would do. You have to put your myth attacks or myth traps first. Mist Blades will not work on you if you're a storm. Now, if you put Mist Traps on there, and you're going to do a convert, put on a second dose of Spiral Traps, which I like to call the traps that basically basically just let you use any attack, and it will boost it. Now, these are extremely useful in max hits. Now, when you're using that spell, you have to, or you have to, put the myth traps first, and put all the spiral traps on. Then when you put that conversion on, you put your storm traps, and then you put the same exact spiral traps on it once again. This will guarantee you to have a large hit. Now, if you don't feel confident enough, you could do this cycle over and over and over again. Except when you're about to convert the storm back into a myth spell. Actually, back into uh, the myth spell into a storm spell. 
you have to, I repeat, you have to put a myth conversion on, and then you have to put a storm conversion on. Now, now we will look at traps. All right, as you see right here, we have the death school and the bounce. School. These are extremely useful for large hits. Now, I will just pick out some that are useful if you're going to use a storm for a storm attack, or you're going to convert it into a myth attack. But yes, so curse and vent will be a great help because they are. 20% uh, to next spell, and this one is 70% to next spell. Don't worry about that hex that gets po pointed onto you. That will be completely fine. Just add some heals to your deck, and you should be fine. And now, as you see right here, Balance has a ton, I repeat, a ton of spells that will help you. Balance Blade, Hex, Blade Storm, and if you are using a Storm, like I said, you could use a balanced blade or elemental blade excuse me if you're using any of the other ones this one will help too uh, now the spear blade it's good for myth death and life this will help you a lot now we will move into treasure cards oh yeah one more thing you want to have wizards that will actually support this school for you so having a death and a balanced wizard helping you is mandatory. As you see right here, I have enchantment spells that are treasure cards. You always want to um, support in the the strength ones. Now these aren't all of them, but I would go for uh, what's it called? Uh, Gargantuan uh, gives you 250 plus to your attack, and that will help you out a lot. I mean a ton. It will help you out a ton. And that will help out too. And all of, all of the spells that you're going to use to boost up your attack. If you're a storm and you're using all your traps that you have, all the blades that you have, even uh, that new spell that uses your pips to go into a blade, you want to have a treasure card of that at all times. Whatever whatever you're going to use, if you could find the treasure card of it, have the basic one from the wizard itself and the treasure card with it and you will be amazed on how much more this will do now we will move on to our gear all right so as you see right here here's the hooded judgment you can get at the waterworks and this is great for balance wizard i i'm a balance wizard myself and i'm a level 66 right now uh really really good uh usage of attack gives you a ton of attack critical is not a good option but the, the attack is just awesome on this you want to most likely invest in attack uh, percentage right there even means losing critical you have to you have to go overload on this if you want to hit one million you have to go overload you have to you might be in it might take you an hour to actually get there you have to buy as many treasure cards as you can. We have to use as much treasure cards as you can. Like I said, you have to buy as many as you can. You have to find a good strategy. You have to, you have, you have to basically have Pierce for the shields that the boss puts up. And Shatter's a really great spell for that because it basically clears out the whole entire tank. And Earthquake too. This is very good to have. I would suggest having this as a wizard as well. On your journey to have a large hit, and so yeah. Now we will move on to types of wizards that will actually be good. All right. So right here we have a uh, storm, life, fire, myth, and balance. These are all my wizards. Uh, I do have a six one, but that's a guest account one. Uh, so yeah, any of these can hit one million, except for the balance wizard. That's the only thing with balance wizards. You need to have a conversion in order to hit one million. Conver
versions are mandatory. You have to have them, you have to use them, you just have to have them. Now, if you don't feel that safe enough, uh, I would have death, balance, and myth with you to just feel safe so that nothing pops up and you have your other boosted attacks on you. And also in your gear, you want to have a gear part that gives you like a boosting attack like in the epic bundle, at least that's what I think it's called. Uh, you get you get this right here, this robe, and that gives you a fence spell. Now this is extremely useful because that will give you 75% boost on it. So gear matters. You want to have as much as you can. There's necklaces to give you boosts. I use that. And plus there's boots and hats and I don't know what else can give you a boost, but I know that there's more out there. There's pets that have pet talents that give you boosts. You want to have items that give you boost. And pets as well. Because pets aren't really items. Pets aren't really pets. So yeah. Alright. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, this was the very first video of the new year of 2012. I hope this helped, and I hope to see you guys again. And if you have a successful attempt on hitting 1 million, then I want all of you to all the all of you who have had a successful attempt on hitting 1 million to leave a video response on it. Now, that is all for now. I hope to see you guys later.